YouTube, it's MacApple10256. Um, if you have not seen part one, you're gonna have to, unless you're like a tech wizard or something like that, like I am. But, uh, in this, um, uh, part one is all the code that you needed to do, and all the designing and everything, so, uh, if you have not seen part one, link will be in the video description, or just click somewhere up there. Uh, I'll put an annotation so you have plenty of resources where to find it. Uh, it's on my channel. Uh, go ahead and go watch it. I'll also have a playlist. So if you don't really have, uh, if you don't really know how you're going to find it, then you are going to be a little, um, uh, with lack of a better way to say it, stupid. <laughs> so go to your interface builder files and uh, double click uh, background color changes view controller dot xib to launch interface builder. Yay, it's bouncing in your dock. Mm, cool animation. Mm, yay. <laughs> All right. So now all we need to do is go to um, files owner and take uh, default background color to grade default button and click touch up inside and do that for each one. So green goes to green, touch up inside. Oops, touch up inside. Orange background color goes to orange, touch up inside. Red background color goes to red, touch up inside. If you, if you could hear uh, me then I was whispering to myself. Um, oh, m my external hard drive is backing up. Mm, yay. Um, <laughs> so then all we need to do is save and quit Interface Builder and then go to Build and Run. That will launch the iPhone simulator. It's loading. Oh, there we are iPhone simulator will appear in the dock. Here's the simula simulator. Um, I use this in one of my other tutorials on how um, the remote application that's built um, that you can get from the App Store. Um, yeah, so this is w what it is. Um, so you choose a color, red, and see how it changed. Orange goes to orange, green made it green, and gray makes it uh, gray. Now, notice that it's not the default gray of the, like, the, the default gray thing. Um, it, oh, it, it's generic. Um, not generally it is what I want to say. Um, general, uh, like, um, and not specific gray, but, like, general gray. All right. So now that you know this, go ahead. You can even make it like blue and stuff, whatever you want. And uh, go ahead, go and try this out. All you need is an iPhone developer account. I have one, but for some reason the the uh the site is like not accepting me. But even though I know I paid for it. Oh, my dad, but still. Uh, so, all you need is Xcode. Um, you're going to need Smell Leopard, I believe. And you're going to need the I iPhone SDK Toolkit, which you can buy off of uh, or download by download, buy and or download um, off of developer.apple.com forward slash iPhone. And go ahead, go get it. Um, I have it right here, and please subscribe, try this out, tell me if it works or not, and thanks for watching. Alright, alright, now all I need to do is remove it from my, uh, EHD as I call it, external hard drive. Mm. Alright, so, thanks for watching, and please subscribe. Thank you.